Hello guys, Sanjay here and welcome back to a new video in which I'll show you a very easy way to install latest Android version by using GSI which is very easy plus you won't have to wait for a ROM developer to develop ROM for your device. First of all, your device needs to support project table and even if your device does not support project table, I'll show you how you can enable it as well. But before that, let me give you a short and sweet example of how project table and GSI will work. GSI means generic system image, generic meaning it can be used on any device. So GSI is universal image which is not device specific and will work on any device with project treble support. Let's see how Android updates used to work before project treble. Assuming there are two major parts of Android update, one being the Android framework and second being the vendor partition. Without project treble, if a company wants to give an Android version upgrade, then they have to update both vendor partition as well as Android framework, which is a lot of work. But then what's new with project treble? Now with project treble, vendor partition is separated from the main Android framework and same vendor partition can be used for the new updated Android framework. Meaning if X device supports project treble on Android Oreo, then the company just have to worry about getting Android framework working on the device and not worry about the vendor partition. Project treble is going to be a huge deal in coming years. So now GSI, which is a system image, which we are going to flash will update the Android framework and we do not have to worry about the vendor partition as project treble takes care of that and hopefully this will remain same for future Android versions as well. I hope now you have understood what's the use of GSI and how project treble works. Now I'm going to show you a method on two devices, Redmi Note 4 and Poco F1 and I'll be using two different GSIs as well. This method is for GSI and not for SGSI which stands for Semi GSI. As we all know, Redmi Note 4 does not support project treble, so we are going to enable that on the device and steps are going to remain same for other devices as well which do not support project treble. First of all, you need to download a ROM which says project treble in the title and that particular ROM will add that project treble support to your device. How to search for the correct ROM? Go to xdadevelopers.com and go to your devices page and then search for the correct ROM. In case of Redmi Note 4, there are multiple ROMs like Lineage OS ROM, Mocky ROM which will add the project treble support. You can choose any one of the ROMs to flash on your device which will enable the project treble support. Mocky ROM is the one which is supported by many Xiaomi and OnePlus devices and will add the project treble support as well. So if your device doesn't come with project treble support, downloading a project treble supported ROM is must because we have to flash that. Now to flash the ROM which supports project treble, we need a recovery which supports flashing treble ROM and one which will let us flash system image as well. For Redmi Note 4, I'm going to use this orange fox recovery which is a custom TWRP recovery made for Redmi Note 4. For Poco F1, I'm going to use the one which is available as the device is still new and there are not a lot of options to choose from. Any latest TWRP recovery should have both these options. Now it's time to download the GSI file and you will find various GSI types such as A only, A slash B, ARM, ARM64. Which one to download? You can download the app called as treble check and if it shows that seamless updates supported means you have to download GSI with A slash B partition and if it shows unsupported then you have to download A only. Now whether you need to download ARM64 or not depends on the processor you have. If you have a device with 64 bit processor like devices launched in past two years with Snapdragon processor then download ARM64 version. Now once you download the file from XDA or GitHub both linked in the description box below, you may have to extract the .img file from the zip. In case of this linear joys file, I have to extract it and then this file does not have the .img extension. I had to add it manually. But for AOSP GSI, I had to extract it but then that file had the .img format already. So no need to rename this particular file. Do not try to flash zip files directly, it will not work. GSI will always be in .img format as it's a system image. Once you download everything needed, put all the files in internal storage of your device. For Poco F1, which supports project treble, is going to be the GSI file only. But for Redmi Note 4, on which we need to enable project treble support, it's going to be Mocky ROM and the GSI file. 
Now there is one tricky part. Devices like Redmi Note 5 Pro which support projectable, but that projectable support is not perfect and that's the case with many other devices as well. So even on those devices you will have to flash a ROM like Moki ROM to get the correct projectable support working on your device. For more info check the XDA developers thread of your particular device. First of all let's enable project treble on Redmi Note 4 or any device without the project treble support basically. Most importantly back up all your data you need beforehand. Now going to wipe, swipe to factory reset. Now go back and select the Moki ROM based on Android Oreo or Android P and flash it. You will also see a message like flashing vendor image and this will add the project treble support as well. Now your Redmi Note 4 has project treble support which you can check by booting into the ROM and then checking it with treble check app. But I'm not going to do that here as you just need to flash a ROM with treble support to enable the project treble. Now once the ROM is flashed you don't have to boot back into the system and then boot back into the recovery. You can simply go back going to wipe and swipe to factory reset. Now it's very easy. Go into install, click on install image, select the GSI image which we had extracted earlier and most importantly select system image here and then swipe to flash it on your device. I am flashing Pixel Experience GSI on the Redmi Note 4 whereas I'll be flashing Lineage OS GSI on the Poco F1 by going into wipe then swiping to factory reset. This is important. Wipe your data beforehand like just going to wipe, swipe to factory reset. Go back, go into install, click on install image, select the image which you want to flash and select system image over here and select swipe to flash and then swipe to flash it. That's it. You have installed Lineage OS GSI based on Android Pie on your Poco F1. Now if the GSI does not have G apps built in, then you may have to flash it manually in TWRP recovery. Direct link to download Android Pie based G apps will be linked below. Once your device boots up, you can set it up normally and start using it. Fingerprint sensor is super fast on the Poco F1 even on this GSI. Now both Poco F1 and Redmi Note 4 are running on latest Android version. I may make videos dedicated to few GSI files in future so stay tuned for that and subscribe to the channel so that you won't miss any update. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up if you loved it. If you still have any more doubts, suggestions or queries regarding this video, then do let me know about that in the comment section box below. And don't forget to check the description box as well as I'll add a short FAQ in the description box which will help you get answers to your questions very easily. So yeah, thank you guys, thank you for watching.